foolish old woman. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What a fool. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better so in the cold weather? About suffering. Your son chose his side, and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives, I believe. Wait. I know you. So tell me, battle forms, where is he? Where are you holding my four out? <laughs> Do you believe this old hag? Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Count. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloak traitor. And you? You best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle-born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it, too, and yet they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? About the same as everyone else? They're the catfolk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Yeah, these... It's got to... Worst thing is, nobody wants... Matter of fact, I do. They've been fair enough with me, far as I can tell. And a Nord knows a liar when she sees one. Farewell. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife with respect. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. What's the I meaning of this interruption? Jarl Baldrup is not receiving visitors. Who's this then? As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. 
Now explain yourself. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. It's I'm starting right here, to think... I want to hear what he has to say. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? Gerda owns the lumber mill, if I'm not mistaken. Pillar of the community, not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? This wasn't some Stormcloak raid gone wrong? Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Jarl dragon Falk. is lurking in the mountains. That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service. I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins. For services rendered. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are foists on me. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. You know, if you've got the aptitude, 
You should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Baranga, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? Huh? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irulep tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armor. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. Wait. I know you. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. enchantment, but keep studying. You've only scratched the surface.
Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battle. I've got a hungry daughter, so selling my produce is really I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. If you've got the aptitude, you should join. College in Winterhold 